What's going on, folks? Just doing a quick review, or well, a quick tool review of Titan Double Brake Line Flaring Tool. So basically, one reason why I haven't drove my Mustang is because I was using the old cheapo advanced auto parts. Hold on, let me show you. Right here. I was basically using this to make brake flare. And what happened when I was doing my four-wheel disc brake swap on Mustang, it basically kept leaking everywhere. I was like, why the hell is it? And the reason why is... This was a type of flare that line was making. This looks more of a single flare. See, that's like a single flare compared to the ones that are a double flare. So it's even a better, if my camera will focus, it's even a better, you're going to get better sealing around the fitting compared to this bull crap right here. Look, it would be leaking. See how the fitting sit? It's not really too flush. And it was leaking, so I was like, man, this kind of frustrated me because I couldn't find something that worked. But I've seen reviews of people using this. So I said, let me go try it out, see if it's good. And let me tell you, this brake flare makes the exact same brake line and double flare you see at the parts store. It kind of shocked me. So this crap that you see in the parts store did not buy. It's a waste of money. Throw this crap in the trash because that's what I'm probably going to do. Or I'll find some use for it for something else. But this thing is trash. But this Titan brake line flare... It's good. And since I got to redo these two for my CUDA, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Hold on. So as you can see, if you can see my camera focus. God dang it. All right. So you see I cut the end line off. And then I filed it down. So now the next step you do is you basically put the tool in this way on the opening end. So you put it on like this. I can't do it with one hand, so I'm just going to put it on and you'll see. So as you can see, I put the line in, and as you can see right there, this little handle part, it comes with a kit. So basically what you do, you twist this in, and it's basically going to make it perfectly level. See where the line is? There's like a little indentation, straight line across. So you're going to screw this in until the brake line is basically aligned with the straight line. So once you do that, you tighten down these. These are 10 millimeter bolts. Let's tighten these down, which I'm going to do next. So as you can see, it's tightened and it's perfectly aligned. So now you're going to want to get your, basically, it'll be this end. This is basically what pushes the brake line down. So you're going to get this one and screw it in hand tight first. If I could get it. Hold on. I forgot one step for you to do. Make sure I put a little bit of the grease that's basically included. Just put a little dab on it and then screw it in. So then you're going to basically tighten this until it bottoms out. See how it bottoms out? And you're going to use 11 16 wrench for that. So once it bottoms out, now you got to loosen it. Then once you loosen it, you're going to flip it over and use the other side that looks like it's kind of bulged out. Do the same thing. Put a little bit of grease in it. And then put it back into here. So as you can see, I tightened this side up till it bottomed out also. And now I'm going to release it. And then bam. A nice double flare that's just like what you get at the store. Can't beat it. Now one thing I did notice about it when I was doing the green brake line like these, you got to make sure that it's real tight. Tighten down the 10 millimeters. Because if you don't, it's not going to come out good. So just make sure when you're doing the green lines, I think it's a little harder still. Make sure you put these down a little bit tighter so you get a perfect flare. But overall, it's a good tool. I'm not paid by them. But if you need a nice, good, relatively cheap, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but affordable brake flaring tool, go ahead and get you the Titan brake flaring tool. It comes with everything you see here it comes with except the wrenches and here's a part number is titan 51535 all right more to come peace